So we are about ready to leave for vacation and we got the car all packed up and I thought I gonna show you guys the roof rack we made. It's um, all finished and uh, we made a little video on how we put this thing together and uh, we hope that's enjoyable to watch. Yeah, before you can work something, you always gotta organize things for an hour or so if you got a 15 year old living with you. So that's all, that's all normal. No problem. So we're gonna cut some aluminum angle. use the short pieces first so that you're not running out of long pieces and that's why we start with the long piece I guess everybody knows how to cut something but what you do when you cut angle iron is of course you put it down this way you don't put it in like this or like this, or like this. You always cut an angle iron like this. That's not the biggest sound. And then you measure one more time because you have a feeling like you screwed up. sucks. <laughs> we're gonna have to make a new blade now otherwise we're gonna be stuck and uh, well I can show you how to weld a saw blade this is a rare skill so yeah this is very unfortunate because because of this small radius here the blades don't last long it's just too big of a stress for the weld seam on the on the saw blades and they actually break before they worn out. So we're gonna we're gonna make a new one. Um, can't make it much longer. So first step is to cut it. Uh, yeah, the saw blade ripped off, Robin. Ach, don't get springt weg. So we we'll cut it. And now we weld it. You can actually weld it wrong. And then the teeth are going in the wrong direction. So smart people weld it once, cut it and weld it again. And then they learn. So it needs to be welded like this. I gotta make sure this blade is absolutely in there and parallel. And this one. Butt it up against it. What I gotta do now is weld it. So I turn this over and watch it. There it is welded. Now I anneal it. Annealing works by putting heat back into it and slowly pulling the heat out. And 
before I grind it, I need to test it. And it, it looks like it's good, you know, otherwise it would kink here. Now I gotta grind it. There is here the special motor installed. And there is a gauge installed here. And when it fits through this gauge, there, it's good enough. And now, after I got it ground, I have to anneal it again because the weld seam is now hard again from the heat. Now, with a little bit of luck, this will actually work. wise enough to make the mirror image and transferring this whole pattern from here to later on to over here like this hmm where did my drill go my endless wisdom I realized I should check if the roof actually curves a bit and it does and this needs a minimum gap here otherwise it becomes too obvious that this roof is curved when you look at it from the front so we increased the height of these from this size now to this size it was this size before that was too low it would get too close to the roof and um, yeah my angle brackets what I made here you can see it over there they are actually now too short and I gotta make them again um, but I do like how this curves along here now I think this is really sweet really tucked close and nice and parallel so we're gonna have to make an angle bracket back here and we get a really decent width and here now with this piece of wood um, we can evaluate how long we make this now how far do we want to have it sticking out in the front before it starts to look ugly so yeah we got to make new ankle brackets and maybe we make them a little beefier this is only five millimeter material we're gonna use six or eight <sighs> <laughs> with my aluminum storage area which is of course a big mess yeah. and here we gotta find an angle bracket and I think so this is six millimeter and it's high and I think we should use that or this one here so now yeah. it looks really cool So, we got this now aligned. It's now a little higher up than I wanted to have it originally, but now that's how it's gonna be. And the length um, I determined is gonna be here. I don't wanna have it overhanging. Just not sure if I should have it overhanging. And then I got these brackets now a little bit beefier from beefier material and higher up. And this is taking a yeah, it's following the roof line here. So I made some progress on our roof rack. This is now all bolted down and I didn't do any welding on it. Many pieces, many holes, a lot of measuring and doing it twice and sometimes three times. Now, do you know why I'm shaking this bottle? <laughs> yes, I know. Why? 
Because I'm not strong enough. I don't know exactly. how to do that. <laughs> because you don't know how to shake a bottle. When you shake it, it goes like this. You know, and you have to put some muscle into it. Okay, we try it. Oh, I'm glad I didn't shook the bottle. Yeah, it's because I <laughs> shook it wrong. Yeah, now why is this now? That sucks. That sucks. That's an unexpected problem. Are they any good? Yes. Yeah, I'll take this one. No, they look too. Okay. Let's put it together. Yeah, no, we need to take off the paper. And we don't want to put any Loctite where we used rivet nuts. If we use Loctite on rivet nuts, they're gonna move the rivet nuts. Yes, it's gonna, it's never gonna loosen up again. So um, these gotta go on here. These here, yeah. Okay, so we have this now so far together. Looks good. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna watch this really closely what you're assembling here. So you're using... Oh, we can put a big one. You know what the stop nuts are called in English? Stop nuts? No, they're called nylon. Really? I think. But, okay. you know, a big one would fit here. No, it doesn't yes. look pretty. Oh. oh. The, big ones, the big ones are really... It doesn't matter. They don't look pretty. Quietness is over now. <laughs> Somebody is awake and using his power hammer. Yeah, it's not bad. You're gonna have to make a test drive now. 
So this is the finished roof rack carrier. Bolted down. It's using here the fasteners here on the front of the roof. And back here it's mounted to the rhino rack rails. And uh, if you're interested in how we made this aluminum box fitting perfectly to it, that will be our next video. At least that's what I planned. So I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, stay tuned for the next one. We show you how we made this box completely custom. So you happy with your new roof rack? Really? Okay. Very well.